Today, carbon dioxide levels are constantly increasing. As mechanization and industrialization progresses, greenhouse gases are choking life on Earth. To address this issue, we have developed a product, A plus Air, that uses algae to perform carbon dioxide sequestration and achieve a negative carbon dioxide level. Over the last few decades, the air quality index has become worse and more dangerous. Air purifiers are traditionally used to pump fresh air. However, they have little or no effect on the carbon dioxide content of the room. This problem can be solved by using a microalgae air purifier that contains a high density microalgae culture to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen during photosynthesis. The algae used in this project is Chlorella vulgaris, which has much higher photosynthetic efficiency compared to plants and other non green algae. We combined this with HEPA filters, air diffusers, lights, and more to build this eco friendly air purifier that has almost zero carbon footprint and always provides fresh air. Since this experiment, was conducted during winter season, it became important for us to use a heater in order to maintain the optimum temperature at 26 degrees Celsius. The air pump provides aeration, which not only prevents stagnation, but also adds adequate oxygen for the proper growth of the algal culture. We have used a DIY carbon dioxide generator made using citric acid and baking soda for comparative study of carbon sequestration efficiency of the algal culture. Carbon dioxide is pumped at 10 psi, which equates to 1 bubble per second on the bubble counter. A ceramic diffuser is used for the dissolution of carbon dioxide and its diffusion in the form of small bubbles. Here we have used an indicator dye, namely bromothymol blue, to check the concentration of carbon dioxide present in the water column. When there is excess carbon dioxide present at around 120 ppm, the indicator turns greenish yellow in color as can be seen here. However, in the inadequate presence of carbon dioxide, at around 2 ppm, the indicator remains blue in color as can be seen here. We can observe the indicator placed closer to the carbon dioxide diffuser to the left has turned greenish yellow in color whereas the indicator placed away from the carbon dioxide diffuser remains blue in color. Thereby, we can conclude that our model sequesters carbon dioxide efficiently and organically and paves way for sustainable development.